Hey guys, this is like doing again, and I'm doing a video of a um another update on my Lego Horror uh, movie character list. This is probably gonna be the last update. I said it'd be the last update, and the other one, but I kind of lied about that. Sorry about that, guys. Um, yeah, I just have a lot more because I had like 13 in that video. And now I have like 30. Um, so yeah. Uh, I mean, I have a lot more genres, so I'm just going to start off with Friday the 13th. Uh, I have Pamela Voorhees. Gave her her sweater, and then I just gave it wrinkles or whatever. Uh, it does have a backside, but you can't really see it because her hair. Which, I wish I gave her a bare hair, but, like, a bare hair piece, but I think it's pretty much fine. I gave her, if this, if it didn't have these, it would be a perfect machete, but then I just gave her black pants. So, yeah. Pamela Voorhees. Then we have part two, Jason, which, uh, which I did, I think I did pretty good on. I gave him, I didn't give him a pitchfork, because they've made them, but I just don't have one. So I just gave him the staff with one to blow on it. And then, so yeah. I just gave him suspenders, you know, overalls, and then I don't have any, like, white out or white paint, so I just gave, uh, I'll show you what I did. This, ah, if I can get off, this is the head that I gave him, but you, you, in the mask, you can only see one eye. I actually sharpied on a pretty decent eye on her, and then this was a Ninjago piece with, like, a whole bunch of gold on it, so I just put... Uh, colored it red with Sharpie and then made it look like blood. Yeah. Yeah, I gave him the boots. And on this side, it was just uh, white, so I just did the overalls on the side. So, yep. So that's part two, Jason. And then I have part three, Jason, which I've already shown you before. But yeah, I gave him an actual mache, not an axe. I'll show you why I replaced it with a mache in a different video. But I'll point out. This is where he got stabbed in the hallway. So, yeah. Um, part four, Jason, right here. There's part four, Jason. And I'm, on this side, I made it where he got axed in the head. I just kind of put it on his head, and then I just put that there, just because I I real this has to be my favorite figure, either this or part eight. I'll just say that. And then we have part five, which if you didn't already know, I'll just tell you right now. Part five did not have Jason; it had Roy, and if you don't know why it didn't. His son got axed up for uh, asking that other guy if he wanted, like, a chocolate bar. And so, yeah. Uh, I think I did good on his mask. But you can tell the difference because it has the blue or paint. The eye, I don't know. I don't know. I just don't like how I did the eyes on here. But I didn't say. I was going to put the tractor room from where he got, you know, where Reggie hit him with the tractor and stuff. But... Red Sharpie doesn't really go on as well. Yes, you can kind of see. I just did um, the plaid on there. I just really I like them. And then I don't have a part six, but I do have a part seven. When uh, sorry, I thought I saw the video stop. Um, anyway, yeah, I have a part seven, and I ran out. I made part seven after I made all of these guys, so I had to find a different piece for the mask. See, it looks a little weird, but, yeah, I don't know, man. This is part seven. You can see the chain. I switched out the body with part eight. Uh, part eight, Jason takes Manhattan. But yeah, I think uh, part seven has a, this a little bit better. So, I actually screwed up on the mask. Uh, so I had to get two of these pieces. Uh, but the one that I screwed up on, I didn't like the eyes, but I used that for the remake, Jason, which I'll show you in a few minutes, like a few seconds, so, yeah. And then, uh, we have part eight, 
Jason which uh, has to be my favorite overall look of Jason this part right because I really like how he has the yellow mask uh, so yeah I just gave him like a regular you know thing I uh, just actually I've almost given all of them the bloody machetes so yeah uh, that's part eight Jason and then I have part nine Jason Jason goes to hell when the mask was just on him all the time yeah I actually got a, a silver sharpie and uh, sharpied out what the torso was and what the back of the head was. So, uh, I put the red line from where she cut the mask off of him. Uh, so yeah, it was like burned onto his face after she cut the mask off of him. I would put a picture in this video, but um, I don't really have enough time to edit it. So yeah, let's give him a blame shake. And then we have the remake, Jason, which he was super tall in that movie, so I gave him, well, yeah, I gave him two of these to put on his feet, which I didn't glue on, I didn't really care. Yeah, they were actually brown, but I sharpied them black, because I couldn't find any black ones. So yeah, I didn't get to give him a machete, I'll show you why, because I actually made a set for this guy. And I also had another guy, which I'll show you. So yeah, that's the remake, Jason. And then this is like a victim for that set. That, um, I'll show you. So, this is him. Um, but he's not a normal minifigure. He's an axis back. So yeah. I just gave him these cool caps and then... You can see his double-sided face, but I don't really care. Okay, so that's all the Friday 13th. And then I have a minifigure I don't see a lot on YouTube. Um, I don't know if people just haven't seen the movie or not. Because it is four hours long. Uh, and that's the clown from It. I think I did a really good job on him. Especially with the clown shoes. And then I just gave him animation play for hair. Which I don't know if that looks too good. It looks okay with me. At least from the front. Nobody's gonna really look at the back. Yeah. Um... I watched the movie, especially since I'm afraid of clowns and midgets, so that really messed me up, but I just made them anyway. I might have to make a part two to this video, just in case the video runs out, but you never know. You never know. I made Pinhead from Hellraiser. Not Hellraiser, Hellraiser. I'm sorry. Pretty simple figure. And then from Psycho, one, that is, of Norman Bates. I have Norman Bates as mother's clothing. And then I have Hannibal Lecter. I think I already said this in another video, but, um, Texas Chainsaw Massacre, Signs of the Lambs, and, um, and Psycho are all based off, uh, one person that was an actual serial killer. So I'll get the next, uh, where is he? Where did I go? So he's right here, which is probably the worst main figure out of this, but I didn't really care about him. I just made him, so uh, I had him. This is Leatherface, really bad. But I liked how I did his mask, though. That's pretty cool. You can see, I just put blood on him. And then I actually used the same head for a Hitman head a while back, so you can see, like, the barcode. But it, covers her, it gets covered by his hair. Yeah, it's really cool. And then I have Freddy Krueger. Which I think looks really cool. And then I'm going to get on to Saw. You already saw Billy the Puppet. So yeah, he's cool. And then here is Jigsaw himself. Which I did probably, this is probably one of my favorite main figures. I gave him the uh, thing on his hand. Which is like the blade, so you go psh. And I did the stripe, like, you know, the red leather on him. And on the back. Here, let me take his... What stuff up. Yeah, and then on the back. And then also on his cape, which didn't... It turned out well at first, and then I did the other side, and it turned out horrible. So, yeah. So I'm just gonna put him in a pile. And then, uh, Halloween me figures, which is, I already showed you these, but I changed Michael Myers up, uh, both Michael Myers as, 
uh, here's Michael Myers. I gave him a different hairpiece. Um, and I just gave him boots, which I don't know if I already showed you that guy. Uh, but, no. And then Michael Myers, uh, I actually found a red legs and then Sharpie the black on there. So, yeah, there's uh, a kid Michael Myers. And then Dr. Loomis, which I've already shown you before. And then here is the red telephone they use uh, to strangle that wind girl to death with. Uh, I was going to make the uh, um, the ghost Michael Myers when he's in the ghost costume because that would be funny. Uh, I was thinking about it, but I didn't. Uh, it's a really easy minifigure, so I guess I could. Um, but yeah. Then we have the guy from American Psychos. I forget his name. But I think I did pretty good. I heard the movie sucked, though, so. But yeah, I think I did pretty good on him. And then we have Jack Torrance from The Shining with a ginormous axe. Whoosh, whoosh. And now here's Johnny. And then probably one of the easiest for me figures is. I don't know, it's all back of them. Uh, uh, here's Ghostface, which I've seen. Uh, one through three of the screen movies, but, um, three, one was, uh, amazing, two was terrible, I haven't seen four, so I can't say anything on that, three was a big comeback, because two sucks so much, everybody thought it would, uh, three would suck, but it's actually a really good comeback, uh, but yeah, yes, face. but, uh, plus, since it had, the uh, the twist ending so and then here's creeper from jeepers creepers which is i feel as though it's a terrible minifigure but um i didn't really try on them and then uh i didn't i didn't really try on them either but i still thought it was okay uh here's chucky <laughs> um very terrible my mom actually pointed this out when I showed her it, because I was seeing if she liked it. Um, but yeah, she got a look like. Because that was super creepy. Um, then, uh, final two main figures is a Xenomorph from the movie Aliens. Yeah. So, really easy and cool main figure to make. And then the final one, which was Fox Mask from Your Next. And I really loved the trailer of that movie because it's, if you've ever heard that song, it's such a wonderful day. I'm glad I spent it with you. It plays that during, like, middle of the trailer. It's just a montage of Fox Mask killing people. So, yeah, it's really hilarious. So, yeah, hope you guys enjoyed. Please rate, comment, subscribe, and goodbye.